The fourth week of testimony in Lori Vallow Daybell's murder trial began with a major piece of evidence linking her to the deaths of her kids, JJ and Tylee. Let's get right to investigative reporter Morgan Romero live outside the Ada County Courthouse where the trial is going on. Morgan, what was that evidence? Doug, a DNA analyst testified on the witness stand that she was sent a piece of hair from police that was from what she referred to as an adhesive and that hair matched Lori Vallow. We learned through testimony last week from a forensic analyst with the Idaho State Police that adhesive came from duct tape wrapped around JJ Vallow's body when he was found in Chad Daybell's yard. So evidence found on JJ matched his mom, Lori. DNA analyst Keely Coleman testified this morning that Rexburg police sent evidence to her in May of 2022. She had three DNA profiles, Lori's, Lori's friend Melanie Gibbs, and Lori's daughter Tylee Ryans. Speaking to the partial DNA profile from the hair matching Lori's DNA profile, Coleman said the probability of randomly selecting someone in relation to that profile is one in 71 billion. After Coleman took the stand, a contract special investigator with the FBI testified Rick Wright was the FBI's case agent over the missing kids case. He testified that he met with Ian Pulowski, the new husband of Lori's niece Melanie, and Wright's concern about the kids grew after that. Ian agreed to give law enforcement information and record conversations he had with his wife, Lori, Lori's brother Alex Cox, and Lori's husband Chad Daybell. Wright also talked about tracing Alex's device in September of 2019. He says it was at Yellowstone National Park on September 8th where Tylee was last seen. Based on Alex and Lori's phone's Wi-Fi and GPS hits, Wright believes Tylee went back to her mom's apartment that night and that is her last known location. The next morning, Alex's device hit at Chad's property near the pet cemetery where Tylee's remains were found, burned and buried. Wright testified just after Alex's phone left Chad's property, Chad texted his then wife Tammy saying he burned tree limbs in the yard, shot a raccoon and buried it in their pet cemetery. As we learned last week, Wright confirmed Alex's phone went back and forth between his apartment and Lori's apartment the day after JJ was last seen on September 22nd, as well as to Chad's property the morning of September 23rd. The device hit near Chad's pond, close to where investigators found JJ's body. Wright also testified to how frequently Alex's device went to gun ranges in September and October of 2019. He talked about the fact that they looked at gun ranges and cell phone records because of the attempted shooting of Tammy Daybell in early October 2019, as well as all the weapons that were found in Lori Vallow's apartment that belonged to Alex Cox. So more about GPS locations, more about Wi-Fi and cell phone records, as well as talking about some DNA evidence today in court, Doug. I'll have all the latest from the rest of today's court on the news at four. Back and Morgan, did the defense have a chance yet to cross examine the uh, specialist who was talking about the hair sample? Yeah, they did question her. They asked, and that's where that one in 71 billion came up. They asked about, you know, how she goes about finding these and alleles and all these sorts of uh, intricacies of DNA, trying to sort of discredit whether or not this was accurate. So as always, they have a chance to cross-examine and then the prosecutors are able to come back and redirect. But those were some pretty, uh, pretty important statements that she gave this morning. All right, Morgan, thank you for that update from Ada County Courthouse. We'll see you today on the news at four.